Hello and welcome back to Hero Arts Digital Series of Videos. This is Scrapbooking and Card Making 102 and today I'm going to show you how to load your brushes. What I have on my workspace right here is just one of the Hero Arts texture papers. I have endive and you can see texture and it's a JPEG so it, it's printable. Um, I'm going to start by locating my brush tool which is the one that I have selected right here. So you're just going to click on your brush tool and you're going to cursor over and you're going to find your brushes palette. So just by clicking on my brushes palette it's going to open up the brushes that are in and available to work with right now. These are presets that are in Adobe Photoshop. I believe it's the basic set. But I want to now change these over to my nature's icons. So there's a little icon right here and it's like a list. So I'm just going to single click the list and up pops the dialog box and this allows me to either replace my brushes, save my brushes, or do whatever I want. But I want to replace my brushes. And it knows that I've been in my Nature's Icon um, kit, so it's automatically found my Nature's Icon brushes. So I'm going to highlight those and I'm going to go ahead and load those brushes. So now you can see I have the four brushes that are in this kit. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a leaf and here's what the brush looks like and right now I happen to have where's my cursor I have a brown color and I'm just gonna click it on to the paper just like that that's how you create a quick image right onto your paper but what I'd like to do when I work with my brushes is I really don't like to stamp directly onto the, pa the background paper so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up and go to edit step backward and remove that. What I suggest that you do is always add a new layer. So you go to layer, new, and layer. And I'm going to title this one brown just by typing in brown. And click OK. And so what it's done here for me, it's created um, a new layer for me. So I have my background paper and I have my new layer. So now I can start playing with my leaf. So I'm just going to stamp one here. Also what I can do is I can go to my brush tip shape, click on that singly, and I can rotate this around just by clicking around on this little spinner. And I can start creating a background with a big leaf. Let me get this out of the way. I want to show you another trick here. Say I just want the leaf poking in, but see how it kind of disappears there? What you can do is go up to your navigator and just kind of slide this back a bit. Then you can use your, you have full mobility. So I can just really back up and put a leaf right there. Okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you how to resize these a little bit. So you just use your little slider here on diameter. And by just sliding that a little bit, it really changes the size quite a bit. So what I want to do with this next is I'm going to go ahead and go to a new layer and this time I think I'm going to work with white so I'm going to title this one white so it's added my new layer here and so now I need to get to white so I'm going to click on my color picker and I'm just going to tell it white and OK um, actually I didn't click OK yet because I want to show you something else uh, you can either choose your color from this and by sliding this up and down you can pick all kinds of colors or you can go ahead and pick a color from your swatches at this time and it gives you a brand new white okay so now I'm going to start stamping with my brush with the white and I'm on my white layer and I'm just going to mix this around a little bit just keep moving it Sorry, I get a lot quiet. I really love doing this. I could do this for hours. Okay, so I want some to go off the edge. I really don't like them looking laying down. Just keep spinning them until you like what they look like. Such as that. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this. 
And what I have now is a good start to a background. I can always go back to my brown and I can add maybe some small leaves in the brown. That's a darker brown. That's kind of cool. Actually, I don't like that one. Step backward. Let me go back and kind of change the angle a little bit. You see how you can just sit and play and play and play? It's crazy. Get one pointing the other way. Okay, I gotta stop. Alright, so here we have it. I don't know why this is showing up that way. Oh, there we go. Just a bloop. Okay, so back on my brush tool. I'm happy with this, but I can also play with some adjustments here. Like, um, I can go ahead and, on my brown, I can change my opacity down a little bit. And that lightens everything up. And I can also do that on my white. And that kind of gives me a really cool layer. So this is just kind of a basic way to get started with your brushes. There's so many more things we can do, but this is a good start for you. And I'm going to conclude this video. It's Digital Scrapbooking and Card Making 102 and how to load your brushes. And you'll be saving this either as a JPEG or as a Photoshop so you can go back. A JPEG you can go ahead and print off. And I'll be seeing you in the next video and have fun with the digital kits. Thanks.